Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am doing a video series over uh, different ways to play Rocket League. So this episode, I'm showing you guys how to play goalie and kind of give you some tips and tricks. Uh, the next episodes will be how to be a bruiser and how to be a shot taker. So um, in this video, you're going to see a couple clips of different ways that I goaltend typically. Now, when I am playing Rocket League and I choose to be goalie, which is one of my favorite roles to play, um, one of the biggest mistakes people make is that they leave the goalie like box. It's the, every goal, every level has like this white box or some sort of like um, checkered out place in front of each goal. And that is your goalie box. You typically don't want to leave that unless you have a very, very clear shot on the ball to get it out of the way and onto the other opponent's half. So um, number one, don't leave that area unless absolutely necessary. Number two, you're seeing a lot of aerial hits. Um, it is very wise to get used to using your aerial and always making sure you have boost. Uh, don't be like this goalie here that has no idea what he's doing and is upside down. That's actually me. You can make fun of me. I get bored sometimes. Leave me alone. It's a tough job. Uh, so using your aerial making sure that you have proper boost management is another big thing um, as a goalie. You always want to make sure that you have enough boost, have enough power. Just in case they decide to float one over you, you're able to bounce up uh, and boost in and, and get it out of the way. Uh, another thing that you're going to have to sometimes deal with is overcompensating. Sometimes you may accidentally hit the ball and uh, you end up leaving the goalie area. It's not a end-all be-all. There's a lot of times that you're able to come back from this, you're able to go around, as you see here, and make a play. Uh, as long as you're quick on your turns, you're, you're using your uh, handbrakes effectively, you're able to turn around and uh, make a play and get things out of, your, out of your goal as quickly and efficiently as possible. So, um... That's about all I have really for goalie. It's not too difficult, but it's also one of the most vital roles in Rocket League. If you don't have a good goalie, uh, it can definitely make or break your game. So I highly suggest always having someone sit back in the goal area, make sure the goal is safe, and you know it can get kind of boring, but if it gets on the last couple of seconds, then definitely uh, switch it up and help out the team. Uh, in the next video, I am going to be highlighting how to be a shot taker. It's going to cover different strategies on how to center the ball and how to uh, properly take a shot on a goal, as you see here. Um, this video uh, that's coming out next week is going to basically just highlight the different ways and methods to um, increase your shot taking ability and get more scores for your team. It's always nice if you're able to, uh, you know, get a couple shots for your team and get some points, and also helps your uh, score to get up there. Um, once again, thank you for watching the channel. My name is Admired Plague. I'm a Challenger 3 right now on Rocket League, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video, and I will see you on the next one. Leave any comments and questions below!